Hello everyone, my name is Alison Duarte and I am here uh, for talking to you about forging simulation by using Keyform software. All right. Uh, so let's start. Let's let, let's my let's present myself and also uh, the company and uh, Six Pro. Uh, Six Pro works and has activities in South America and Mexico. And the idea is to provide support to, to the industry on the matter of uh, forming and heat treatment activities. And today we are mostly talk about the use of key form and its effectiveness uh, uh, on supporting the industry, the forging industry. Uh, key form has uh, different sites. One is Russia. There's another one in uh, United Kingdom, and um, well, let's keep go ahead. Uh, there are basically four activities of Six Pro. So one of those are software, software that providing software. And uh, there is also consultancy uh, to the industry. It's a consultancy that is based on project. The, on simulation project, on the on process definition. Uh, there's also training, which this short training that we are providing here right now is part of this activity, and we have also our own researchings. Our own researchings are conducted with or without uh, universities and also companies they are interested in conducting specific researching all right <clears throat> uh, the main the projects or the main processes we approach are stamping hot stamping heat treatment uh, here talking about the use of key form hot forging cold forging materials prediction ring rolling, longitudinal rolling, and also extrusion. Uh, and now let's talk about the key form cloud, no? getting into the software that can predict uh, forming processes and heat treatment processes. All right. And this is uh, the version of the software that you are going to receive in order to do this short training by yourselves because you have to simulate. Now let me talk about this adaptive meshing uh, in key form. adaptative meshing as you can see this is the forming hot forging process uh, of a part and uh, and you can see key form keeps changing size of the elements you know start by F E M so you have uh, Finite element method. So those elements they are considered here. They keep changing according to the needs of the process. So as you can see here, in the, at this point, you know, this, this area here, we have very small elements because we need to better predict the geometry. Also, in this part, we don't need that size of elements, so you can have a safe time of calculation. 
All right, so here we have this adaptative meshing. Again. <clears throat> All right, so what's the common uh, procedure to do to conduct a simulation? We have billet and dice, if you can do that in a CAD. There is also a possibility to do that in key form, but a CAD is much more appropriate for that. Uh, also, flow stress curves of the material and many others. Uh, properties, uh, thermal conductivity, specific heat, and others. So, if first you need data, <clears throat> then when I have a data, you go to the key form and you do the setup. All right, you you do positioning, you you choose the right equipment such as pressures and hammers. Uh, you define process parameters, uh, friction, heat, boundary conditions of different. Uh, needs and uh, then key form starts processing your simulation and you can finally analyze the results just to say some of them I would say geometry defects temperature stresses strains loads and many others uh, there are many, many <clears throat> uh, results that you can check in the simulation, but here today you're going to focus only on uh, examples of geometry and defects. That's what we're going to do. And also you can optimize your entire technology or your entire process. Let's say here that the forging process right so you can actually not only optimize but you can also automatize or make it more automatic uh, more automatic process okay um, and key form uh, just to, to give an example uh, the material data is very important okay the material data because uh, when you consider uh, let's say um, stresses and strains and they are based on let's say temperature so if you have a material with 800 Celsius or uh, 100, um, 1100 uh, Celsius the material behaves differently uh, the hotter it is the easier it will be to forge so the press loads are going to be lower but here you can see one two three four five six curves and those six curves are for the same temperature that's 1100 celsius um why i have six cur curves here that's because it also depends on the press speed all right uh, so if you let's say if you go to a hydraulic press it's here so let's say if you want to do 0.4 of deformation in a part it means that you're gonna need around 40 megapascal for deforming uh, your material but let's say so take here hydraulic okay hydraulic press Let's say you're gonna use a hammer that's much faster. So I'm just uh, supposing how fast it, the, the deformation can be. So if you wanna do 0 0.4, actually the stresses that are needed are much higher than 40 megapascal. Now it's uh, 170 megapascal. So as you can see it's because it's much faster deformation in here much slower deformation okay um it's always like that no depending on the material it might change however the regular materials we use for forging they behave like that okay 
uh, and key form has a very extensive uh, and complete uh, material data base okay the material database already there in the library and but if you want to include any material of yours any any material any metallic material you can just input it in, in key form all right just to give an example here you can, can see some uh, equipment let's say here you have a hydraulic press and uh, for an open die forging uh, uh, process, let's see uh, how it can work. Let's see here. Alright, now let's see, uh, on friction uh, press, it's uh, faster. And now we can see a hammer working, in which the deformation speed, we say uh, strain rate, okay, is much faster. Just to give an uh, to, to to give an idea of the equipment, uh, especially to those who had uh, had never seen that. All right. So let's say in the process chain of a forging part, since the steel maker to the ones who are going to purchase the forging, key form can be used in every uh, in every segment in every company in this chain so let's say examples in a steel maker uh, usually they have to forge some bars or to roll some uh, profiles or eventually to roll uh, to do a longitudinal rolling or a ring rolling or wheel rolling uh, also to conduct some heat treatments that have some parts of themselves so usually <clears throat> that's that might happen okay, at least uh open eye forging is possible so then this is the, the major of the companies uh they conduct forging uh, all, actually, all of them can use key form. So let's say they purchase a steel or a bar or an ingot, and they can do open die forging, closed die forging, depending on the size of the part, on the precision, you know, and on the equipment you have. Also, you can conduct rings and wheel rolling, heat treatment, and then the company that purchases 
those parts, those forged parts, can also conduct, usually they conduct uh, machining and heat treatment, and also you can conduct heat treatment, all right? And I'm gonna give uh, one example of, uh, I'm gonna get this from case and from this and for this, that's already published. So if you get a forging company here, uh, it was conducted very, very nice uh, work, engineering work, in which they decreased, they got closer to the final part here, of this part, unit shape, and they decreased 15% of the mass of the, of the material, also decreased the load, uh, and, uh, and so on, and many others. And then they could simulate a controlled, well-controlled cooling after forging. So there's a forging, but hot forging, and cooling. And they could well control that. In a case that they uh, conducted, they, they decreased the number of heat treatment processes. They actually cut one heat treatment process, and it was a lot because it decreased, really decreased the cost of the part. So if you get everything, you can see well. <clears throat> software is very, 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 uh, you know, helpful, and the payback is really short when you do and when you check actually the costs that you're saving by using simulation the simulation line. so payback is really good and uh, then we uh, the company that that purchased the forging got happier because they got a part closer to the final so they did uh, less machining <clears throat> but they were this company is another one was also wondering about residual stresses because they had cracking problems and we conducted they conducted uh, together conducted together um, the heat treatment of this part here you can see the distribution of martensite you know and then you have uh, uh, final final properties final uh, you know, residual stresses. You can also check the stresses during the heat treatment and actually to see if it's possible or not to get stresses, distortions, and uh, cracking. Right? That's uh, an example. Another example a uh, company they conducted by using key form, they, they, they got a lot of improvements, but here I'm going to just show some of them. Uh, let's say for this part, they used to have this part with flash, uh, difficult part. So then they could, by using key form, uh, conduct uh, first of all 14% of steel reduction. It's it's already too much. It's really good. They increased the die life. Uh, reducted operations, reduced the workforce or people to work on that part. Uh, they could now, they can now to variate the geometry for different purposes. So it's also really good. Uh, on this side here, first it, they used to forge this part, and uh, they had flashes. They had a lot of uh, uh, operations. They also had to machine that afterwards, but now they can actually uh, obtain this part, all of it, directly from the forging. Uh, the holes are, are, uh, are done by, by forging operations. There is no machine anymore. That's the final part, right after the forging operation. All right. Uh, <clears throat> mold fire process because of the dyes. You can see here it's dyes uh, 
two halves of the die, they were just broken, you know, they cracked, and uh, they could modify the process, and now those dies do not break anymore. They do not crack, you know, don't, doesn't have fracture anymore. It's because in key form you can analyze the dies as well. And so your technology, forging technology, can be modified based on the part itself and also based on the dies, uh, you know, stresses. And um, then you can check both. You can see another case here on the right, uh, on the right uh, uh, side, in which they have reduced uh, real work uh, by 83% talking about the part but also you can see this die here they had this huge crack uh, which is really important because dies are very very expensive and here just to see uh, stresses in the dies so <clears throat> you can also use that not to see only stresses but also uh, to see fatigue you know this number of, uh, of of parts that you will be able to do in case you have fatigue um, and many others. Uh, where you also can check where and, and, and uh, predict the amount of parts that you will you can do by controlling where or die where. <clears throat> All right. Okay, by this moment, I have to tell you this, uh, you guys are going to receive a cloud version. It's a version that you can use the key form in your own company, in your own computer. If you're in a company, you can use in a company. If you're in a university, you can use in a university. If you have a laptop, you can use in your laptop. All right. So the first idea here is that you're going to have at least one week to work by yourself on your own computer and conduct, uh, conduct uh, simulations by yourself. And it, you're going to have this one week and then you're going to have more if you wish. OK, uh, we are going to keep in contact about that and you will also receive going to receive uh, support technical support from us <clears throat> see let me say, just say how uh, the cloud version you use it works so you can uh, see your client computer you install it I'm gonna send that to you and then uh, this your 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 software you have the interface all right so first thing when you prepare <clears throat> your simulation project uh, and ask to run to process that uh, it will check be, be allowed by a license server and then there is also a middle server that's going to send to one or another service simulation service, service uh, calculation server <clears throat> and uh, uh, the simulation actually runs in a server, but it's your computer who sends information and receives the results. So it's like uh, you would be running in your computer, but actually it's not there, but you can, you, you're you gonna get everything that's possible from the simulation. So basically you have a simulation in your computer. The good thing is also you don't need a very strong computer, right? <clears throat> the server are doing this actually to run a uh, key form even in a local computer you don't need a very powerful computer i mean i use my computer here it's not uh, powerful at all and it works it's very nice <clears throat> so your cloud license in order to you to get this cloud license i'll ask you to send an email message to this email here info at uh, sixpro.pro and just remember to put the su subject of the message it's my cloud my key form cloud license and your name so you're gonna have some control here uh, from the 
from uh, the people that wants to do this training and will receive for sure the cloud version uh, to be installed in your computer. So then uh, you please inform your name, uh, phone number. If you, ha you have a company or university, please inform that. Uh, but if you don't, that's no problem, all right? <clears throat> and your occupation as well. If you're a student, I'm an uh, engineering a manager, oh, you know, whatever you do. And in case you do not receive, when you watch that, that in case you do not receive a message from us with the software in about two business days, it might, might happen uh, some problem in the communication. So please, please really try to contact us by our website because maybe there is some communi communication problem there. So please do that. Uh, then we're going to receive this and I will ask you guys to enjoy your time using the cloud license. <clears throat> Remember, you're going to have uh, technical support from us and also access to additional exercises uh, for different foraging analysis types, right? And you can also make use of your cloud license to simulate other cases of your interest. If you're in a university, you can do some, uh, you know, some other trials for your researching. If you're in a company, you can conduct some simulations of your process, your own process. And we are here to help you on that. If you ask me, oh, but you're going to provide me a, a week uh, of uh, trying it, that might be not enough to approach my own processes, my own projects. Uh, I have to tell you guys that uh, after this, it's just, this is just the beginning. After that, of our conversation, we will put this software for a longer period of time whatever you want if you're in a company gonna send to you can put in a computer there if you're in an university we're gonna talk to you to tell you how to put that in the university so you can keep using it's just not this one week this one week is important because it's gonna be your first uh your first uh you know use of the software and also it defines our connection uh, or communication okay All right <clears throat> now let's talk about the case for this short 